Today I'm going to teach, teach you the completing square methods for the chapters of quadratic function. Okay, so in, th in this chapter, this method is very important in this chapter because completing square actually can help you to find your minimum point or your maximum point. Okay, so how to determine the minimum point or maximum point? Okay, before I tell you that, you have to know the general form for completing square. Okay, completing square, the general form will be fx and then a bracket x plus p square plus q, where a, P and Q are constant. Means A, P and Q are actually they are they are the number. Okay? Okay. Means you go you're going to change this form to this form. Okay? Of course Y and Fx actually is the same. So actually it's the same so we can change this one to Fx if we want. But of course, in the exam, is the question give you why you just use y. If the exam give, give you fx, then you just use fx. Okay, so now we start to change this one to this, to this form. Okay, okay. Let's say, in order to change this form, you have, you have to know one thing very important is the x squared here must be 1. So, means the x, x here must be 1. So what I need to do is I factorize out 3 for both of these. I mean I factorize out 3 for this one and this one. So what we got is okay, so I got fx equal to 3. Okay, I factorize out 3. This one equal to x squared minus 3x plus 7. See, I didn't factorize out 3 for all. I only factorize out 3 for 3x squared and negative 9x. So this one take out 3, I, I got x squared. This one take out 3, I got negative 3x. Okay, after that, okay, okay, this is the important part. Okay, x squared minus 3x. And then here, I have to plus the middle one divide by divide by 2. So, so the middle one is not 3 only, it's negative 3. So negative 3 divided by 2. And then square it. Okay, so when I got this one, I have to minus back the same thing. Then only the equation can be balanced. I mean you add anything in, into the equation, you have to minus back. So I minus back. Means when I add negative 3 over 2 square, I have to minus back negative 3 over 2 square and then I close the bracket plus 7 plus 7 is outside okay means means actually this bracket is for here okay okay now very important is you have to know this one and this one can come means from x square minus 3x plus negative 3 over 2 square can plus together become like this so how to plus is you just ignore the middle one you take x minus 3 over 2 you ignore the middle one you take x minus 3 over 2 because both of these also got square see x also got square negative 3 over 2 also got square so I got x minus 3 over 2 square mean after when I open up the bracket I will get I will get back the same thing okay you can try to open up me you can try to expand this bracket you can get this one okay and then this one I got minus negative 3 square I got 9 2 square I got divided by 4 bracket plus 7 why the bracket is very important here because after that I have to multiple 3 into this one Okay, I have to multiply 3 into this one and then this one has to plus 7. Okay, if you forget to put this bracket, means your 3 only for, for this one. But then just now, actually we factorize out for both of these. So this bracket is very important. Okay, now I open up the bracket. Okay, I mean I expand. 
So I got 3x minus 3 over 2 square minus 27 over 4. Okay, I have to make their bottom become same. So this one I multiply both uh, multiple 4 for top and bottom. So plus 28 over 4. After that, I just solve this side. So I got 3 x minus 3 over 2 square this one negative and positive I saw I got positive 1 over 4 okay when you got this form okay this is exactly here okay so a is 3 p is negative 3 over 2 and q will be 1 over 4 so what is the purpose of those a p and q okay a, if A is positive, means, okay, this is very important part, okay, means when A is positive, mean A is bigger than zero, is mean A is positive, the graph will like that. So you will got the minimum point. Okay, three is positive, so actually this one, you can get minimum point. So when A is smaller than zero, you will get maximum point because the graph is like that. Okay, so if this is minimum point, where is the minimum point? Okay, so minimum point very important is, okay, you you write x minus three over two equal to zero, then you will get x equal to three over two. Okay, so this is the x coordinate for the minimum point, three over two, and this is the y coordinate. So, okay, here is f x. So f x will equal to one over four. So therefore, I got the minimum coordinate is 3 over 2, 1 over 4. So this is the minimum co coordinate for here. So this will be, okay, this coordinate will be 3 over 2 and 1 over 4. Okay, this is for x, this is for y. Okay, therefore, if 3 over 2, very important is 3 over 2 actually can be the symmetric line also. Okay, means in this curve actually x will cut through here and cause the symmetric is x equal to 3 over 2. It's the same thing. So actually completing square can help you to find maximum and minimum and minimum point. Okay, this is the methods of doing the completing square. Thanks for watching.